In the ever-evolving world of football tactics, managers and coaches constantly strive to find the most effective way to set up their team. Two popular formations that have gained prominence in recent years are the 4-1-2-2-1 and the 4-2-3-1. These formations offer different approaches and strategic advantages, making them intriguing choices for football managers to inform mobile players. First, let's delve into the 4-1-2-2-1 formation, also known as the Christmas tree formation due to its shape resembling the festive imagery. This formation emphasizes central control and provides a solid defensive foundation. As the name implies, it consists of four defenders, a holding midfielder, two central midfielders, two attacking midfielders, and a lone striker. One of the main strengths of the 4-1-2-2-1 formation is its compactness. The central midfielder trio offers stability and control, allowing teams to dominate possession and dictate the tempo of the game. With the attacking midfielders playing relatively narrow, it becomes easier to ov overload the area between the lines and create chances through intricate through passes. Additionally, the lone striker benefits from increased support from the attacking midfielders, creating combination play and opening up opportunities. Defensively, the 4-1-2-2-1 formation excels at suffocating opponents. The holding midfielder, often known as the anchor man, acts as a shield in front of the defense, breaking up opposition attacks and providing cover when the fullbacks push forward. This solid defensive shape can frustrate opposing teams restricting their space to operate and reducing their attack threat, attacking threat. In contrast, the 4-2-3-1 formation presents slightly different tactical approach. With four defenders, two holding midfielders, three attacking midfielders, and a lone striker, it offers flexibility in both defensive and attack. This formation has become increasingly popular in top-level football, providing a balanced structure and multiple options going forward. The 4 2 3 1 formation focuses on creating numerical superiority in midfield. The two holding midfielders provide a solid base in front of the defense, forming a double pivot that allows for, increase, that allows for increased defensive stability. This structure enables teams to control the center of the pitch and limit spaces for opponents to exploit. Offensively, the 4 2 3 1 formation benefits from the presence of this attacking midfielders. These players, com commonly referred to as the number 10 and the wide players, have the freedom to roam and interchange position, creating confusion for the opposition's defense. This fluidity and movement can lead to increased combination play and penetration in the final third. Additionally, the lone striker in the 4 2 3 1 formation often receives support from the attacking midfielders, creating opportunities for quick passes combination and counter-attacking transitions. The key to success in the 4 2 formation lies in the ability of the holding midfielder to balance their defensive duties with their offensive contribution. Their positioning and decision-making are crucial in supporting both defensive stability and attacking play. Similarly, the wide players must possess pace, skill, and a good understanding of their defensive responsibility when the opponents have the possession. In summary, the difference, the difference between the 4 1 2 2 1 and the 4 2 3 1 formation lies in the emphasis on con central control and defensive solidity versus numerical superiority in, an, in the midfield and attacking flexibility. While the 4 1 2 2 1 formation relies on a compact and disciplined structure, the 4 2 3 1 formation offers versatility and attacking options. Both formations can be successful in the right circumstances and with suitable players, but it is crucial for managers and coaches to understand their strengths, weakness, and the specific requirements for each formation to achieve optimal results on Football Manager 2024 Mobile or in real-life football.